uh, at about seven uh, seven forty in the morning. Uh, as she was heading northbound, uh, she had a Suez Canal pilot on board, vessel master up on the bridge. The vessel lost power, went dark, according to the ship's agent. Uh, losing power meant losing propulsion and also meant losing their steering. Suez Canal uh, sees 10% of the world's trade go through it. Uh, every day, 50 vessels on average go through that canal. So the closing of the canal means no vessels are, are transiting north and south. It is a one-lane canal where the vessel is, is aground at. So right now, vessels are piling up in Port Suez in the southern end and Port Said in the northern end. And every day the canal is closed, number one, it means that Egypt isn't getting toll money for this, about $700,000 for every vessel to go through. But more importantly, container ships, uh, Tankers are not delivering food, fuel, manufactured goods to Europe, and goods are not being exported from Europe to the Far East. She's, she's longer than the canal is wide, and, and so she's jammed in there pretty good. And, and so it's going to be very difficult to, to pull her off. And they have to be very careful pulling her off because, again, they've got all that weight in the center of the vessel, and she's not buoyant right now because she's hung up on the edge. On the edge. So she has a sagging motion to her right now. So they've got to be very careful about cracking the vessel and, and conceivably a catastrophic loss of the vessel, which is a worst-case scenario. I, I don't envision that.